What is good, everybody? It's your boys, Jules and Severin. What's good, what's good? We welcome you to a new episode of Speed Run presented by Splice. Yeah, today we want to show you how to do a trap beat in 10 minutes using our all new sample pack, Drip Kit, 50 bucks to spend. Let's go. Hey Siri, timer of 10 minutes. All right, so here's our main idea. First thing that we wanted to add was the piano chords. Okay, next thing that we wanted to do was layer it a little bit more. We duplicated the piano track and we wanted to create some sort of subtle reverse effect. We cut each chord, we click on reverse, and then we add RC20 for a little bit of texture, some reverb, and we pitch it up 12 semitones. sounds about right for the A part. Now we wanted to create a B part and we duplicated the main melody and we pitched it down 12 semitones. So now we're adding an EQ and this particular EQ setting brings us huge cuts in low and high end and we're using spectral gate for some more texture. So that was our baseline for the B part. For some further processing, I'm using a high cut right now. I'm using max bass to thicken up the sub. Also, I'm using Little Apps Voice of God. And to really control the bass, I'm using C4. So let's dive in to Drip Kit, 50 bucks to spend. And we're gonna start with a hi hat loop that we're stretching to the beats per minute of the session. And we're looking to add some percussion first. Basic, oder? Word. We're going to quantize and duplicate. Moving on to an open hi hat. Dann, wo war die Rim? the drums, starting the rhythm to build up, quantize of course, duplicate the regions. We keep on layering the drums, some more percussion and a hi-hat. Same procedure as always, we're quantizing and duplicating the regions. <laughs> no! <laughs> So 
now I'm selecting all 808 nodes and bringing them up to the same velocity. So now I'm adding a kick drum sample. I want the sample to sound shorter. That's why I'm cutting some of the end of the sample and I'm adding a fade. Now I'm adding an EQ and I want to cut some of those highs and some of those mids so the kick will sit better in the mix. To finish off the kick drum, we're gonna duplicate the pattern. Now we wanna add a filter part, like a breakdown before the beat drops. And now we're just gonna bounce the drums and import them back into the session as a two track. <laughs> And the key to the modulation is an EQ where we're gonna automate the high pass filter. Guck mal bei Melodic One Shot. Oh, der ist aber geil für so einen Auftrag, weißt du? Hier. As an add on for our filter break. We're gonna add this swish effect as a transition to the drop. With contact, we're selecting a little piece of this vocal chop. Now in retro color, we're adding some reverb and we're really gonna make use of the sound of this filter. We're done here for today. Thanks so much for watching. Drip kit, 50 bucks to spend out now. Check it out on Splice. Peace.